They're set. And away and racing for the Kipco British Champions, Phillies and Mears Stakes. Doha on the wide outside. Uh, going forward is Wingspan. Also going forward, Village Voice in an all-blue jacket. And Tiffany is well up there as well. And Sumiha is next to the rail as they cover the first furlong. Just in behind the leaders, Quantana Mera. And then very wide, Queen of the Pride in the claret jacket. Just behind Doha in the silver silks. Towards the outsides, too, is Content in the center, Quantana Mera. Time Lock is towards the back in a green cap. War Chimes, the back marker, Grateful, is held up. Kalpana, the favorite, in the white sleeves, pink cap, lying probably about sixth, maybe fifth at the moment, as they run down towards Swinley Bottom. And they're taken along by Wingspan, out in front by a bit more than a length to Tiffany in second and Samia in third. Then Kalpana, a little wider, Village Voice and Thunder Roll, very wide, is Doha. They are tracked through them by Sea Theme and Quantana Mera. Grateful's on the inside in a dark blue jacket, from, followed by Time Lock, Queen of the Pride, towards the rear War Chimes and Content. Racing inside the seven and on towards the six and up the hill. And it's Wingspan that continues to show out in front by a length to Tiffany in second place. Close up Samir on the inside, then in third, the favorite Kalpana in fourth in that pink cap. Tracked by Village Voice and then Doha. On the outside, Content is getting closer now from Quantana Mera. And then further back to Queen of the Pride, Doha just inside Content on the extreme right, the scene outside. War Chimes at the back just seem to lose her action a little bit. Uh, behind Grateful, also time locked towards the back with Queen of the Pride now. Thunder roll around the inside as they swing on towards the home turn and it's still out in front wingspan tiffany is within a length of the leader samia now kalpana makes ground on the outside followed by village voice who travels pretty well doha swings wide even wider is content thunder roll on the inside from quantana mera down the home run wingspan leads but here comes kalpana kalpana coming to challenge now in the hands of william buick and comes alongside wingspan and goes on and it's kalpana showing an excellent turn of foot goes two lengths clear, three lengths clear of Wingspan. Tiffany is back in third as they race on up towards the line. It's Kalpana in the Judmont colours, the art winning colours. Kalpana pulls three lengths clear of Wingspan and Kalpana is an impressive winner of the Phillies and Mares from his second Wingspan. Tiffany in third and Village Voice well back in fourth. Impressive. Kalpana wins for Judmont. Andrew Balding and William Buick, the old firm, back in business. Judmont's fine season continues. 130 favourite week in the market earlier today, but she was dominant here, swept by Wingspan, who, to her credit, stayed on well to be the best of the Ballyd Oil trio and nearly emulating her mother, Hydrangea, the winner of this race in 2017. Tiffany adding ballast to the form back in third and another yawning gap back to the rest. Smart performance on ground that would have been soft enough for her. Yeah, she's always moved well through it and she quickened up really nicely in the straight to go on and quickly see off Wingspan, who's run a really good race in defeat from the front and probably at a tactical advantage, the, um, the eventual runner-up. The pace has held up pretty well, but they've still finished reasonably well strung out. That front three have managed to get a good way clear of the rest. Kalpana was never far away, always travelling well, quickened up best. Uh, Wingspan keeps working away, keeps on staying all the way to the line. Tiffany was never far away from Wingspan, couldn't quite go with them, but plugs on to hold third anyway. The first <coughs> win in this race, in this format for Andrew Balding. William Buick, who cut his teeth with the King's Clear trainer and his father, Ian before moving on to, to pastures new John Gosden, then Godolphin. This will give him rich satisfaction and great pleasure, I'm sure. Yeah, it will. And it was a, a ride that obviously Sheen Murphy was claimed for uh, Qatar Racing and Queen of the Pride with his returner so that the ride's available and you're not going to leave William Buick standing in the way in him, are you? And um, as you say, they've, they've got that old relationship and he was always in the right spot, but he was on a, a classy finish. He's clearly very, very smart. A group one success for the Stallion as well. Study of man in whom Kirsten Rousing has the utmost faith and he's had a, a terrific season at Stud. And this just caps it really nicely. Indeed, the front two here and indeed the third, they're all fillies that could go on and do better still. It's a, it's a, a, a nice race for the future as yeah. well as today. Well, Kalpana keeps on producing career best after career best, so you don't quite know where her ceiling is at the minute. Wingspan's got a fabulous pedigree and again is very much going the right way. They're um, both uh, three-year-olds and Tiffany probably ran right up to her best last time out and has run another. Kalpana, such an impressive winner of the fillies and mares. A lovely spare ride for the outgoing champion jockey will 
wonderful performance. Yeah, great performance, and uh, yeah, like you say, lovely, lovely ride to pick up. And uh, you know, Andrew had a lot of faith in the race and, and was very uh, sort of um, just reiterated how um, uncomplicated she is as, as, as a ride. And um, you know, she really is. You, you could sort of. Um, put her in anywhere, anywhere you, you want in the race. The only question mark was the ground. It was the first time she'd raced on ground as soft as this, but um, she handled it well. And, you know, I, I, was, I was quite impressed with her. She's a, she's a filly who's, who, who is probably on, only going to improve into next year as well. Interesting, interesting, yeah. I mean, how, how early did you know that she was handling conditions? Well, she was comfortable. She, yeah. she, once, once we sort of, the race settled down, once we went down the hill and, um, you know, she was comfortable and relaxed, uh, which is key. Um, so, no, no, it's great. And, um, Obviously, the Andrew and and family, you know, they had such a huge part of my career um, yeah. when I started out there. So, um, you know, I, I believe this is our first group one winner together. So, um, oh, fantastic! So I didn't no, know that. Ex, ex, extra special. Oh, so, uh, day like today, was yeah. No, great. look, it's uh, yeah. they 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 were, you know, they were incredibly influential throughout my career. So, huge thanks. Nice, nice to team up again, like old times. Absolutely. No, it's great. And the year for you, William, fantastic. All in all, I know you've not retained the title, but who cares about that now? The new champion jockey is coming out yeah, in a minute, yeah. I guess. So, yeah, yeah. no, absolutely fantastic. You know, big congratulations to Oshin. He was, he was, uh, he, he said he's still out early, and um, you know, he was the winner from somewhere out. So, let's congratulate him and celebrate him. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Earlier today, Kalpana was a fabulous winner of the British champions, Phillies and Mare Stakes. Andrew Boarding is her trainer. That was a performance out of the top draw, wasn't it? Yeah, very much so, Lydia. She's an extraordinary filly. She's just done nothing but improve. I mean, I, I don't think she'd done this time last year. hadn't done. She was so backward. She hadn't done any fast work. And, um, you know, she's just started in January at Wolverhampton. And just each time she stepped up and improved. So, uh, you know, it's an exciting filly. And does she stay in training? She does, yeah. So, which is great. Yeah, and uh, I, no reason she couldn't be even better next year. Yeah, you must have top targets on your mind against the boys as well as just against the girls. Yeah, very much so. I, I, I think she, she could mix it with, with, with the best of them now. And now you know she's versatile in terms of trip, she's versatile in terms of ground? Yeah, yeah, she probably wouldn't want it rattling fast, but uh, look, we'll pick our fights next year and uh, yeah. All being well, she should be set for a good one. And for the team, what, what's the meaning of that success on a day like this? Oh, brilliant! You, you know, we've we've had we've had some good winners this year, but no Group Ones in England. So to get one in England, sort of caps a good season, really. Very satisfying. Congratulations! I look forward to what you do with her next year. Thanks, Lydia. Thank Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.